Hi there and welcome to my first ever video tutorial. My name is Julie Kettlewell and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator based in West Yorkshire. Today I want to share with you how to make this lovely, really quick and simple double card bow for the top of your projects or even for your more um, extravagant card projects. It's really, really simple to make. Um, what you need are three pieces of cardstock and I've used the shorter side of the A4, so this measurement here is 21 centimetres. And then I've cut three strips that are 2.5 centimetres wide each. For the third strip, I've cut it down to 6 and 15. So these two measurements are 6 centimetres and this piece is 15 centimetres. I'm going to move those to one side to start with and what I'm going to do firstly is curl the larger pieces with the bone folder just to break the fibres of the card up. Okay, And once I've done that I'm going to take the first one and pop a little bit of um, Tombow glue at the end of each piece and I'm going to curl that over and meet it in the middle so that the ends do touch. I'm going to hold that down there okay it does just take a few seconds um, for it to bond and then once that's done you're good to go okay we'll pop that up there we're going to repeat the same process putting some glue on each end but instead of making them meet in the middle we're going to leave a gap about two two to two and a half centimeters okay and again, you just need to hold this down for a few seconds for the um, the glue to bond with your card. And then I'm going to pop some glue on the bottom of this piece here. And then just pop it on top. And you can see exactly how it's going to form now. Okay, hold that down. We're nearly done. I'm going to take the smaller piece that's six centimetres and pop some Tombow on there. And this is going to position around the middle of the bow. Okay, hold that down. And then finally, I just like something to, um, to finish the bow off with, something to, to stick the bow onto. I know I'm loving the um, flag or pennant ends on lots of projects at the moment. So I've just got a really quick method of doing that for you, which is you find the middle of your card and cut off, and then you go in from the edge. look fantastic on card projects or even on a gift project. Here's a box that I've made for you. Um, the length of the bottom piece is slightly shorter but they look really really nice if you pop a ribbon or a bag or even a flower in the centre. Thank you for watching my first ever video tutorial. If you would like to see more projects um, I do post daily and you can find them on my blog here at www.juliesgate.blogspot.com Thank you for watching. Bye.